Hello and welcome to this video. What I've made here is a sort of navi from the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. It started out as a simple um, prototype to sort of simulate the, everyone's favourite fairy from Ocarina of Time. But it evolved into a kind of educational tool. Uh, so here we have Chun-Li who's pretending to be a child. And the idea is you have these RFID tags and you just place to the side of the box and it responds similar to Navi does. So we have here, this is meant to be some different shapes. So the idea is that children associate images with how they should respond. So for the shapes, <coughs> hey, something of interest. The child wants to play with the shapes. Here we have it's supposed to be a person. So the response should be, <coughs> listen, listen to what they're saying. And lastly, we have some drawing pins or thumb tacks as a thumb tacks as a also known um, and that one gives us watch out. watch out they're dangerous and that's it project navi okay so now we're going to look at how all this works together so we start off with the mood light and these kind of devices you can buy quite cheaply and you just operate with a remote control you can change the color and you can set it to automatic or manual mode. So that's fairly straightforward. All we do is we simulate the remote using the Arduino Uno and an infrared emitter. So it's just a matter of getting your remote and you can use a sketch on the Arduino to find out what protocol it uses and then simulate it using the Arduino. So as far as the mood light's concerned, you're still using the remote. All information, of course, will be available on my site. So let's just unplug this mood light and move it out of the way. Oh yeah, I must mention about the wings. You can just buy these from like accessory shops and so on. A little bit embarrassing to go into uh, Claire's and ask for some fairy wings. But I wasn't the only guy in the shop, that was for sure. So I've just used this box. It's nothing special, it's just something that I had available and I've kind of tacked down some of the components. But it's just very rough at the moment as it's a prototype. So we have an Arduino Uno here. Of course you can use other Arduinos or other boards as well. This is what I happen to use. We have the infrared emitter here. So it's just a photodiode screwed onto the back and it just points upwards. With those mid lights they tend to work wherever you point the remote control. We have the loudspeaker here, which um, we'll get to the sound module in a moment. This is just a um, board I had just to common like the plus 5 volts plus 3.3 volts and ground connections together and just a decoupling capacitor is not really needed. Here we have the RFID module. All these little modules are very very cheap which is a matter of finding libraries or writing your own code for them. So the RFID will work through the back uh, sorry, through the woods, you've got about a couple of centimetres distance, that's fine. This little module here is just a level converter because the RFID and the cell module, which I'll show you in a moment, they are both 3.3 volt logic compatible only. So if you think like an Arduino Uno, you must convert the 5 volt signals from the Uno to the modules uh, to the 3.3 volt level, otherwise you'll damage them most likely. This is a sound module. Again, all information will be on my site, um, so you can read up more about it. Uses a micro SD card, which is 128 megabytes, not even we need that much. That stores the clips, the hey, listen, watch out sounds. Um, it's a nice little module which just doesn't like WAV files, even though it's supposed to play them, so you have to use AD4 files. You can use this with an amp, but I found the amp module I used, it just caused so much problems with hum and clicking, which is a common problem I found there. But I found it's loud enough just using this decent sized speaker, even inside the box it nicely echoes. But again, you can do a better job, make some proper sound grills or something. That is basically it, an Arduino Uno. It continuously looks for an RFID card, and when it finds one, because these all have their own identifier on them, a four byte code. When it sends one, it checks against its database. Oh, does it recognize the ID? Yes. Then it plays a sound and it changes the mood light by sending the code to the mood light to change to a different 
uh, color. Interestingly, you can actually use Amiibos. If you uh, modify the sketch, uh, the Amiibos have seven bytes ID. You could actually use Amiibos with this, which was my original idea. Unfortunately, they didn't really have any appropriate Amiibos. And it seems a bit odd kind of sticking an Amiibo on the side, but it's just a prototype. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, that's it for information on my site, how to make this, how it works. Thanks for watching, and that's bye for now. Bye.